Welcome back. Our wash here has been fermenting along nicely. We did have to put a heater belt on it to keep it a bit warm as it gets really cold here in our workshop. But it's finished off. We've taken our hydrometer reading. It's coming out at about 980, which is absolutely perfect for what we want to do. Now we're going to start clearing the wash. They're ready for uh, transfer to the boiler. Once fermentation has stopped, the airlock has stopped bubbling, we leave it for an extra few days and then we test the specific gravity of our wash. We remove the lid, we get our hydrometer and we float it in the top. You can see we're sitting just at 980, perfect. As you can see, our wash has cleared up by itself quite nicely. All the black muck that was in there before, that doing a fantastic job of collecting all the um, byproducts produced in the fermentation, has settled down to the bottom. But now we're going to add our two-part clear to make sure that we take all the yeast cells and anything else that's in solution and drag it down to the bottom. I'll show you how to do that now. We're now ready to add our crystal clear. The instructions are easy printed on the front. We're going to add part A, which is just a cut in the corner. Add it to our fermenter, squeeze it all out. And give it a stir. It does call for a vigorous stir. I don't really want to mix up all the black stuff on the bottom, so that's about as vigorous as I do it. Alright, now we've put part A in, we have to wait about an hour to put part B in. It doesn't matter if it's a bit longer. Okay, we've put part A in, which has taken all the air out of our wash. We can now add part B. Again, just cut the corner. Squeeze everything into the fermenter. Make sure we get it all out. Give it a slightly vigorous stir. Part B acts like a flocculant and will bind with all the yeast cells floating in our wash and will drag them down to the bottom to settle. This will take 24 hours, so we'll keep going once that's happened. Okay, it's been 24 hours since we've put part B in. Um, you can see from this photo that it's cleared up really nice. You can see right down about four inches deep into it and it's crystal clear. Now we're gonna transfer it into our boiler. Remember when we put part A of the clear into the wash, it was to degas the wash so it wouldn't create air bubbles when it goes into the boiler. We, when we're transferring the wash now, we want to make sure that we're not adding that gas back into the mix. So we want to do it as smoothly as possible. The best idea is to use a bit of tubing to siphon from the top into our boiler below and fill from the bottom. This will ensure no splashing and won't add any extra air into it. Um, opening the tap and draining into the boiler will be probably about the worst idea because it will make lots of splashes. Um, and introduce a lot of air in, back into the wash. Uh, but for safety's sake, we're not siphoning because we then have to lift a 25 kilo boiler full of wash onto the bench. We're going to use one of our measuring jugs and transfer it five litres at a time as smoothly as we can. We'll do that now. When transferring, the first part might have collected a little bit of uh, wash debris um, from the bottom of the fermenter, which we're just going to take away with the jug now. You don't need to collect much, just a small cupful. You can see it's quite cloudy. Okay, now we're going to transfer the main body of the wash into our boiler. Trying to be as gentle as possible. If the flow is quite slow, you might have developed an airlock from the lid being on too tight. I'll just remove the lid. Put it slightly to the side and it should flow nice and freely. Okay, when the jug's full or it gets too heavy, turn the tap off and we'll transfer it into the boiler. Make sure the boiler tap is in the off position.
and repeat. Okay, we've transferred our wash into our boiler. We're nearly ready to get going on our distillation run. What we need to do is make sure that we add some of the distilling conditioner. This stops any boil ups and flare ups coming up from the wash where it nucleates on particles within the wash and starts foaming. We want to eliminate that and that's what the distilling conditioner will put a little film on top of the wash and stop that. Basically we add 10 shakes. So 10 good shakes, flip the bottle and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Close it. We can now put on our condenser and away we go. One point to note is that we don't really want to fill any further than the max line in the boiler. That leaves a little bit left in our fermenter, uh, but it's always a good idea not to get too greedy because uh, it will spoil the quality of your final spirit. Hope that helps. All we've got left to do now is do our distillation run, which is in the next video, and do our washing up. Thanks for watching.